Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, I am so glad that you have tuned into today's video, taking some time of your busy day, your busy week to come watch this one because today's going to be special because in this box are three brand new unreleased baits from the good old people over at Berkeley. And I'm very excited to get into this box and to show you what is in here. Two of the baits we can show you, one we're gonna fish with today, another one we're gonna fish with in another video that you will see very soon. And then the third one, we can't show you just yet um, because we aren't releasing it till later in the year and you guys will be seeing it in the next few weeks when we actually can let you guys see it. So super, super excited today. I got my boy, Mr. Benjamin Nowak behind the camera right there. And we're about to get out on this beautiful inland smallmouth body of water here in Northern Michigan and get some work done with one of the baits in the box today. But we're gonna unbox this stuff real quick together. We're gonna do like a joint unboxing me and Ben are. If you're not subscribed to Ben's channel, you should be. So go down in the link in the description. So subscribe to Ben's channel because you're going to get to see very uh, two very distinct perspectives on what is going on today as far as what's in this box and how we're going to go out and we're going to fish them. But without further ado, let's get into this box and I want to show you guys what we got. So here it is. This is the brand new Berkeley Stunna 112 that Hank Cherry just won the classic on. Unreleased, it's gonna be releasing in July. They actually moved the release up to July. So we've got the 112 and the 112 plus one. So we got the perch color and we've also got, what is that one called? Northern Lights. Northern Lights, which is kind of like a, it's like a dark back, clear sided chartreuse belly. And then we have just like a very lifelike perch imitator. I am super jacked to get those on the water. Berkeley Fusion hooks, 112 size normal diving version deep diving version you know designed by hank cherry this thing is going to be awesome half of an ounce weight transfer system tungsten weight transfer system in this thing just super jacked this is kind of what the focus is today right this is what the entire focus of the video is going to be about is about these two jerk baits right here um, because we are on a inland smallmouth body of water where they are going to hopefully munch a freaking jerk bait so that's going to be the focus of today's video which is really, really wicked. We're gonna tie on the stunna and we're gonna go to work on some inland lake. Giant freaking smallmouth, hopefully. And yeah, so uh, Ben, high five. Let's go. Boys and girls, here we are. I am gonna be throwing the stunna 112 plus one today in Northern Lights. Ben's gonna be throwing the standard in perch and we're gonna have us a time. I am very excited about this bait. It is a half ounce. 112 obviously size jerk bait got some freaking sticky hooks on here these are the berkeley fusion 19 hooks you guys can see a little bit deeper diving bill there and uh, like i said northern lights and northern lights in my opinion if you've ever been to any smallmouth northern lake anywhere up north that color right there should just be called smallmouth killer because that's what it's going to be but yeah i'm super excited we're gonna get this thing tied on um, we're gonna go start kind of figuring this thing out and hopefully put us a bunch of big old smallmouth in the boat. This lake that we're on today is actually the lake that my PB was on for a long time until I broke it last year with my good buddy, Mr. Benjamin Nowak. Um, so hopefully there's another PB swimming around out here somewhere. I mean, that would honestly be really, really cool as if uh, I broke my PB out here on a brand new unreleased bait. Um, I guess that would kind of kind of prove just how freaking wicked this thing is, but really, really impressed so far with this bait. I've not even got it in the water yet, which is, honestly kind of one of those things that i've always always you know you you oftentimes walk through the tackle store and you buy the stuff that looks good and everything just about this looks good so far so i'm very very excited to throw it around but yeah um i'm gonna shut up i'm gonna stand up and let's get after it what we're gonna be targeting today is essentially dark spots just like that post ball video i talked about tar targeting dark spots for these smallmouth bass that are either spawning or early post spawn. We're also gonna have a big mayfly hatch coming up, so there should be a lot of fish still up here in the shallower water. Um, but the key is really targeting these dark spots, shallow water fishing for late spawners. There he is. Spawn fish. Alex just caught one. <laughs> first cast, first cast. I'm letting Ben do his freaking intro, first cast. And I've already freaking oh, hooked one. <laughs> <laughs> that was first literally guys first freaking cast with a brand new jerk bait that's not a joke dude was that not like legit the first cast how wild is that crap that's so give dumb. me some 
That's awesome, dude. Oh, my God. oh wow. that is wild, dude. That's insane. That's, that's great. That's actually crazy. That is really like nuts. Like first freaking cast. Yeah, that thing casts like a rocket, man. That thing casts really well. That weight transfer system is working really good. Get him, buddy. Big him. Yep. Good one. That. Nip. Look at there. Stunner in his face, son. All right. God, that jacks me up. <laughs> that is amazing. We are, that's like third, second or third time. God. Well, it works, man. There ain't no doubt it works now, buddy. There you go guys first fish on the new berkeley stunner that is freaking wicked there you go guys look at that absolutely beautiful northern smallmouth right there thank you for a good time sir and i'll see you later all right so there you go first fish catch on this thing initial impressions now um after the first fish catch right you can get those initial like first impressions on the first cast and everything like that but now that it's actually put a fish in the boat what do i think absolutely phenomenal hooks um what i like about these hooks is i don't have to worry about them bending out on me on a fish catch so i really really appreciate that but phenomenal hooks really really phenomenal hooks like those things are freaking sticky but that's just number one um we've got a lot a lot of fish to catch today and we are going to do our best to catch them too so just casting at these dark spots this is a very uh michigany kind of thing a lot of these lakes are glacial lakes and so what that means is they were formed when glaciers melted away and so when that happens it just doesn't leave a lot in the bottom of the lake you know you'll have some rock piles and things like that but for the most part you're not going to have a phenomenal amount of cover or things for those fish to live on and sit around and so you've got to find these dark spots and these dark spots can be as simple as just a bottom composition change or you know a few rocks on the bottom or a stick or something that's been submerged and so that's what we're looking for we're just looking for darker kind of bottom composition changes that's what's holding these fish and a lot of these are spawners pre-spawners post-spawners you know missions michigan especially northern michigan is kind of in that everywhere in between kind of phase right now and so that's what we're focusing on to catch these fish and just like that right chair i put number one in the boat <laughs> with the brand new berkeley stunner 112 hey, freaking awesome give them a little plug here if they want to go check out how i break down yes so of ben is going to do a full like technical breakdown video you guys know i'm not really into that kind of stuff like i love to talk gear and stuff but i'm not a big technical breakdown kind of guy and ben's going to do a full technical breakdown of what we're doing today including the barkley stunner which will be phenomenal that's really good and that's like so what ben's really good at so go check out his channel go it'll be linked down below all that kind of stuff and by the time you see this video his video will most likely be out and so you guys can check it out go watch it and just kind of see how he does stuff other big deal guys this spot because i've actually got the video already made this spot is in the video so you guys get a first up close and personal look at this spot in the video there you go hey thanks for giving me the little plug buddy you're welcome bud huh I mean, they take flight. Golly, they take flight. Quit doing that. Golly, they freaking take flight. I mean, there you go. Good work, buddy. Thank you, sir. Dude, they just... 
They hit it so hard and they just take flight. Freaking so aggressive. Lord have mercy. How can a fish that small be that mean and that aggressive? I mean, away, <laughs> dude. Whew. Lord have mercy. Get out of here, buddy. Tell you what, guys. I am really, really impressed with this jerkbait so far. I mean, really, really good jerkbait. Hooks are phenomenal. It's got a really good kind of rolling action. Um, it's kind of like a secondary action. Obviously, you crack it and then it kind of rolls has a shimmy or this roll and it just looks really really good um, me and ben are actually going to try to get some underwater footage of it here in a little while that you guys will be seeing but just really really impressed so far by everything about this jerk bait um, the colors paint jobs are doing really good i've got three fish on this thing and uh, normally by three fish you know you're got paint jobs coming off and everything like that and so far i got a few teeth marks but no paint's coming off of it so super impressed we're on uh, spot number two here is where that fish actually came off of again just targeting these dark spots i'm sure you guys can see them in the video and uh we're just going to keep at it keep doing it and if we can keep catching one like that just every now and again it don't take much to keep me entertained with a jerk bait i mean i just need a few bites a day and uh i'll just keep throwing it and throwing it and throwing it and throwing it oh i love jerking a jerk bait man there is like it probably goes frog fishing flipping cranking cranking and jerking a jerk bait are probably like on par for me like they're the same level of fun but you know i say that but i mean heck i'll do whatever it takes to catch them i mean hell if we were out here rolling up turd balls and <laughs> putting them on hooks if that's what it took to catch a smallmouth man i mean i'd be out here doing it but we're not throwing this awesome awesome stun of jerk bait and getting work done with it beautiful fish zeros four and a half four thirty four thirty that dad jim dude. gooden dude <laughs> to dad jim gooden look at that guys Oof, what a pretty fish oh man. man look at this the way she's built freaking short and fat <laughs> like, that's a gorgeous fish all right honey let's get you back in the water Absolutely gorgeous fish. Come on, baby. You ready? Get out of here. Come on, come on. There she goes. Right back down to her home. Heck yeah. Oh, that is so awesome, dude. Thank you, man. God, money in the freaking bank, y'all. That freaking bait right there. Thing's good, man. I mean, like, that's impressively good. Like, I'm very, very impressed. And Ben knows. It takes a lot to impress me, doesn't it? Not. I mean, I, I'm it a. It takes a lot. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm a little bit of a complainer. I'll be honest. I'm, I'm one of those people like you got to show me something really, really cool to really, really impress me. And I'm very impressed by this jerk bait. I mean, very impressed. This thing, when it hits the market, if you don't have these things in your hand, you're just mistaken. I can't wait to get home with it too. I think at home, um, fishing around like grass edges and stuff. And finding fish on grass flats and stuff this thing is going to be killer because a lot of people sleep on a jerk bait especially in the summer i mean obviously we're up in northern michigan right now so it's a it's a whole different world up here but even down at the house you know you look at some of these tournaments that they have down in texas and stuff and if you can find them in that grass you can bring them up out of that grass and you can catch them 
on these jerk baits and so i can't wait to get home and just play with this thing really experiment with it and then obviously when it gets like true blue jerk baiting weather in the fall this thing is going to be an awesome tool to have and an awesome tool to put a lot of big fish in the boat with but there's the first four pounds of brown into the boat of the trip and uh yeah that's all right buddy yeah that's all right that's all right that'll do pig that'll do Sick. buddy big well, maybe not that big it's <laughs> still a big one yeah did you see that fish roll he's running right at the boat now he just decided to turn Oh, they just go insane. Like, here he comes. I mean, it's freaking nuts, bro. Oh, yeah. Hey. Oh, that's awesome, bro. Dude, they just go flying. I mean, like, they just fly. Dude, they're units. I mean, that right there is the... the I mean, guys, I cannot express to you how just pent up, like, a, a ball of just like tight muscle this little fish is these fish on this lake in particular man they're just like it's like every little it's like they're a coil and i mean it's just ready to just explode freaking awesome thank you sir bye all right boys and girls we're gonna end it right here we have had a really really good day really fun day out on the water hanging out with my buddy mr ben nowak here throwing that brand new berkeley stunner it's kind of what this whole video was about and i am very very impressed with this bait um you know just obviously got to spend some time with it today very honored to have the ability to get my hands on this thing before it's even released to the public and be able to fish it and i have to say this is going to be a staple in my jerkbait box when these finally hit the market um everything about this jerkbait i just like it has a really hard darting action it's got a really good kind of secondary action with that roll it gets down to depth really really easy comes stock with some really really awesome hooks and those fusion hooks and what's really cool about those fusion hooks is they're available um, so that means that you know if you lose a uh, number six size fusion 19 jerkbait hook you'll be able to get them very very easy so really really impressed with this bait really really liking it weight transfer everything about it is just good it's just a good jerk bait i mean you guys know i would never say something's good if it actually wasn't good and that crap right there is freaking good but i'll throw that on a seven foot moderate fast winch abu garcia rod had some 10 pound fluorocarbon and an abu garcia 8l fhs i keep saying that wrong and i finally got it right that time it's an eight gear ratio reel real fast reel just so that i can pick up that line if one grabs it and runs at me which several did today and you guys saw i would hit them and have to just start picking up that line be able to get those hooks in and get that hook driven in really really good but very impressed with this bait super cool time hanging out on the water today getting able to fish it it's always cool to have something that no one else has it's just one of the coolest feelings in the world and uh, really blessed to work with a company like abu garcia and who is in the same company as berkeley so i get to use a lot of really cool berkeley products but as always, questions or comments, you know where to go leave them. Also go down in the description. I'll have everything linked that I used, except for the stunner because it is not out yet. But as soon as it's out, I will have a link for it. And I'll have also have a link for my good buddy, Mr. Benjamin Nowak's channel. So go subscribe to his channel, making some really, really awesome content. But as always, you guys are sweet. And we will see you later. Ugh.